Good afternoon, good morning, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in Zion. You are the blessedness of the Father and the one who has called you right from the very beginning. I just want to really take time and appreciate each and every one of you for the essence and the blessing that you are. I thank God for your manifestation and the revelation of the goodness of God that is manifested through you. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. So I heard the word uh, today. I believe it's been resonating since yesterday. And um, I believe I'm just encouraged to share a word with each and every one of us. I kept hearing the word, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. I believe in this hour, a lot of people, you know, it's a place where you've reached a level of, uh, there's weariness brewing in the spirit. You know, a lot of us are just on the brink of, hey, Lord, I can't do this anymore. You know, I, I've just, you know, it's been a long time coming. I've waited for so long. You know, the, the promise seems like it's not ending. You know, it's like you keep reassuring me with your word, but I'm seeing nothing, you know, manifesting because I've been praying, I've been worshiping, I've been believing, I've been trusting, but yet I can't see the manifestation of that in which you have spoken. You know, Lord, do you remember me? Am I am I even, you know, in the remembrance of, of, of you know, of your name or in your book at all, in any place? But the Father wants to assure you in this hour, he says, don't stop, just keep going. Keep going because he says that what? He says the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first. I know the journey has taken this long. I know the promise has taken this long. But you have to understand, yes, there is a process that I'm working through you. Why? Because of the many nations that I'm calling to you. You are going to endure, yes, until the very time of my what? Coming back. And it is in that place that every blessing that I have already spoken concerning your life is already within you. But I want you to understand, yes, if I called my son, Jesus who came upon this earth look at the dimension of the people who followed him and he had to minister to look at whom he left the church to to the 11 and then he departed he finished his work and it was absolutely precise and this is the reason why I keep encouraging you yes do not be weary do not be tired in, of do not be weary in well doing that's the word do not be weary in well doing yes you will reap if you do not faint so the promise is already ready here it's not like it's a long time coming no yes because it's for an appointed time and when it does manifest you will see the beauty of that in which you have been waiting on me for yes it might not make sense at this point in time but it eventually it will make sense and you will be glad that you went through this journey you know a lot of people are standing in podiums a lot of people and on youtube facebook all over the place yes but i want to assure you that not all of them some of them but not all of them pay the price to get to where they are that is why most of them the things that they do does not last till eternity because it is here today and it is gone tomorrow but what i am trying to manifest through you is what will be here today and will last forever because generations are going to look unto you yes for what it is that you're doing that is why i am perfecting everything that concerns you yes so that the blessing in which i am giving unto you you're not going to lose it to things you know things that are just not worth the time but you will use it yes to manifest my glory in the dimension to which i have called you this is the blessing that is upon your life in the oneness that you and i are yes because i have called you into what to bring forth the eternal things to manifest them upon creation and they will see the beauty of that which is in you yes manifest upon creation you're here to reconcile and the power that is at work in you will be seen by all so it is a place yes look at joseph joseph eventually what happened he looked like nothing was going was happening for him the bible declares that when uh, the, the the butler you know when they when he left prison joseph said remember me and they forgot all about him two years later he was still there he didn't 
look like it was going to amount to anything but suddenly yes apostle peter was in prison and suddenly yes so it's a dimension of suddenly in your life suddenly you were in your room praying suddenly you came you came forth in the dimension in which i have called you so this is the essence of the glory that is at work inside of you because the hour has come i want you to believe me when i tell you that the hour has come you might be looking at the things the way they are at this point in time i'm seeing them by the spirit so i want you to remember that you are no longer in the flesh but in the spirit so come up higher to see the things the way i see them to understand that you're already working you're walking in the finished works of christ yes you're working and you're walking in the finished work of christ so i don't want you to be weary neither do i want you to be tired so cast those burdens onto me and what and i will give you rest for my yoke is easy and my burden is completely light so it is that in itself i want to encourage you today yes don't stop what it is that you're doing don't stop praying don't stop believing don't stop trusting remember lot's wife don't look back you see other people if i want let me encourage you today right some people are out there and they're actually watching how you continue to endure the process you might not know it but yes there are some people that are watching they're watching how is she able how is he able to continue to praise god to rejoice to manifest joy in the midst of what this person is going through this must be god and that gives them hope that gives them the encouragement for them to also keep going do you see the mystery of that which is at work in you this is the mystery that has been right from the very beginning because for all that i have promised you the hour has come and i will manifest them one after the other one after the other one after the other and it will yes it will be an absolute glorious moment for you and all creation will see and they will look to you and say wow if this person can do this to manifest this then if the lord is on their side then the lord is on my side so this is the evidence of what of my spirit that is at work in you to bring forth that which is in you so yes continue to pray for those that i call you to pray for stand on the wall and watch me speak to you yes to bring forth because you know why the enemy is afraid of you you know because he has tried everything to bring you down he has tried to discourage you he has tried to tell you to let go that it's not worth it at all but yet you keep going and i promise this manifestation yes will be from everlasting to everlasting in your life so today i want you to take time out reflect on the good things that i have spoken unto you reflect on the good things that i have revealed reflect on the good things that i have manifested in times past in your presence rejoice in those and then you begin to see that in that in which you're worried about is nothing compared to to what you're about to receive yes because the hour has come yes and suddenly it happened so this is your suddenly moment so be prepared because at any moment in time pharaoh is going to call you be ready because at any moment in time saul will call for your attention just like he did for joseph remember i mean sorry for david remember with david when saul was requesting for david to come to the palace he went into Jesus' house and requested for David himself directly, not for Eliab, not for the other brothers, but David. So there is somebody who is at work, yes, and is waiting, yes, to bring you forth into where I have called you. The same dimension with John the Baptist. He was there and suddenly Jesus appeared and he said, this is the one whom I am talking about. You are the one today that I am talking about because at any moment in time, at any point in time at any moment from now it can manifest so be prepared get your heart ready yes because the hour has come do not be weary in well-doing for you will reap if you do not faint i love you so very much you are the blessedness of the father yes the father loves you yes the father <laughs> he absolutely loves you and he is very proud of you i love you so very much stay blessed in the glorious essence of christ in jesus mighty name amen and amen